Hey, what's up, guys? Back with another stream. Hope you guys are doing okay tonight. Did a little switch change in pace. We're going to be uh, doing some livery painting. Got to turn the music off here. Um, yeah, so we're going to be painting the um, the PC-12 tonight and giving it some uh, VR aviation flavor for everyone to use in the group. Um, I was going to paint the B-1900D first, and I actually started to do that a little bit. But I uh, decided that um, to do this plane first. So Anyway, um, now I'm not going to have any music playing tonight because the last time I streamed with music... Amazon Prime Classic Rock, the whole thing got flagged for copyright and you couldn't hear anything. So here's what I suggest. Put on your favorite music. I'm going to put on my favorite music. And uh, we can listen to... Oh, Playmaker just died. That's good. Um, and we can listen to our favorite music together but separately. So let's just do that. All right, so let me get my music on here. You guys can't hear it, but it's the Foo Fighters Everlong. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so appreciate you guys checking the stream out. Yeah, you know what it is, um, Robo? That happens with um, classic rock primarily. Uh, the newer music seems not to get flagged as much, which is interesting. So. Anyway, is my mic too loud? Does it sound too loud? I hope I'm not like over uh over modulating or anything. No, it's Cosby. It's it's not that I like the PC twelve better. I just think it's um first of all I can probably knock it out a lot quicker. Uh, because I'm gonna use an existing livery and just kinda of modify it a little bit. Um and secondly a lot of people are flying this plane, so be cool to get it uh, in the stable. So, M9, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Flyboy, thanks for joining. All you guys. Yeah, it's new hotness, exactly, Robo. So, in any event, let me get uh, this stupid plane maker going. It's, it's the first time it's ever crashed on me. So, like I said, this is an existing livery. Um, and I'll show you it in a second. That I'm basically going to bastardize and... Uh, Real simple, actually. No, you know, probably, you know, kind of keep it simple. Like comparing cabbage to a hamburger. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, listen, I love the B-1900D. I fly that. I fly the, as you guys can see in the log, I fly the crap out of that plane. To me, it's like, it's almost like become, become like flying a, a, a 172. If I'm like not paying attention and GPS takes me like, too close to the airport I don't get like I don't descend in time I can basically whip that thing around and land like pretty easily so anyway uh, that's the used to compare like yeah <laughs> anyway so um let me see if I got plane maker yeah we do so let me open that up here we're gonna uh, go to visit this guy Open this guy up. I just want to show you what this livery looks like before I start to uh, rip it apart. See, I already got the VR Aviation logo. And uh, we'll just cha we'll change the tail number. What I'm basically going to do here is this gold stripe, I'm going to make it red. That's pretty much... It's going to be simple. All right, and I may... At the tip of the wings, like right here, I think these are the tip, the wing tips here, I might make these red too, on the top. We'll see. And maybe this part here, I might make this red. Um, the edge of the wing, we'll see. This might be easy, because it looks like they use two, the same, oh no, it's the two separate wings. Yeah, we'll see. We'll probably, there's, there's just this gold piece right here that I have to do as well. I have to get rid of this, uh, little plus sign here and I'll probably put um, a VR small VR in the tail maybe we'll see
All right, let me see if I got Playmaker going here. There you go. So let me get this bigger, and that's what it's going to look like. Well, that's the basic model that we're using. See, it's got the black underneath. It's kind of cool. Don't have to much do much to the underneath. I may paint some of these, like maybe these, whatever these things are. I might paint those red. I don't know. We'll think about it. Little accents here. We'll put uh, maybe a little red on the propeller. Uh, but this stripe will be red. All the gold will be red. And we'll see what else we're going to do. So first I want to just see what the um, logo placement is going to look like. <laughs> Platypus back half deer. <laughs> it's some antlers, yeah, right. It was a, some three dimensional antlers on the front of the plane. They're aer aerodynamic. All right, let me see here. So I'm going to take this is E1. Um, what I want to do, don't mind my mumbling. So here I've got some issues I have to things to deal with here with this logo. So I've got to deal with the safety stuff, the push. Oh, I can get that out of the way, I guess. But what I want to try to do is, if I could do it like that, I don't have to deal with that too much. I could probably live with it. So, And I would imagine that we'll have to tilt this logo so that it's lined up with the tops of those windows. Well, that's not going to look too good, is it? It's going to be too far in the top. Maybe I should put it here. Yeah, I might have to do that. Might have to do that. Where the hell is the uh, front of the plane? There's this panel right here. Probably be a good place to put it, the logo. Because if I put it above the window, it's just going to be too high. It's not. I mean, I could put it here, but that's probably not going to be too cool. Yeah, they put on the on the just put on the tail. Hmm. I'm going to put the VR on the tail. But I want to put the VR Aviation logos somewhere too, and I guess I could. Could I stretch it here? And put the tail number here. Well, let's just try a couple things here. So this plate here. Uh, let's see. Now, I'll, st I'll uh, straighten it up. I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, this was. I like this one too. I, I really do. I think it's a nice. Uh, I think it's a nice livery. All 
All right, so that would be easy to angle because I can just go against that edge there to make that nice and straight with the with the plane. And then we just put the VR on the back. So it's actually going to probably go like this. Put it right in the middle of the plate. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think it needs to be a little smaller, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's called, um, Counter-Strike. See, I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Nice and simple. Names there. Could probably actually even move it back further. Like, I probably would want to... Oh, oh crap. I'm going to move it back, like... there just want to make sure I'm straight here so I'll probably put it like right there let's duplicate so this is going to be uh, co-pilot side and we'll duplicate that. This will be the pilot side. I'm probably going to have to flip this. Uh, let me just see what, how that looks. I don't think it does. Oh, so that's the back. Um, I think I could just rotate it like that. We shall see. I'll probably have to flip it. Let's just see. Uh, the problem is, uh, I gotta go like this, so. Yeah, that's cool. That's something you can do for sure. I don't. Th uh, I think there is a registration plate inside the cockpit, which I'll probably change for mine. 
let's see. Yeah, the reason why you really can't use the grid is because you have to be you have to be, I mean, I could use the grid, I guess, but it's not lined up to the graphic itself. It's lined up to where the seam of the plane is, so it's not really going to be aligned with the grid. Okay, I like that. But I think it's got to be moved forward a little bit on that side. Because that little... i got to angle it and move it forward just a tad. Alright, so at least we know it's the right way. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like you have to re rely on uh, you got to rely on your uh, artistic eye. Well, this one's loaded up. I'm just going to go grab a quick beer. I'll be right back. Tech Knobbers Pilot. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate that. All right, so that's not quite right yet. Yeah, it's angled the wrong way. Appreciate you guys checking the stream out. Apologize, I can't stream any music because classic rock tends to get uh, <clears throat> copyright muted. So, ah, 
Cheers. Yingling Light. Good Pennsylvania beer. That looks good. That looks better. I probably could move it up a little bit. But that looks better. Nice. Might even make it a little smaller. We'll see. I, I can always go back to that. Alright, let's work on some of the stripes now. We'll do this side first. Now this is going to be a little tricky. We'll start with... Uh, the uh, tail here. So here's my trick on that. Now I got a little bit of a thing I got to deal with there afterwards. So let me go to my pen tool. Make this nice and big. Couldn't you go into the background layer and make a copy of the whole section with this with the stripe and then paste it into another layer and use the fill tool to change the color to red? I don't think so because it's a bitmapped image, so there's no separation. So when you try to fill I mean I could you know, I could probably I think it would take no, I don't think it'd be quicker. I just don't. I 
I think you could probably do that in Photoshop. This is, I'm not sure you can do that in uh, Affinity. I don't know how you set, I mean, one way or the other, you have to separate this, the gold area from the white area to paint it red. Break the image. I don't know how to do that. Maybe that's something I need to learn how to do. So you're not going to lose the detail of the rivets, and I'll show you how. I'll show you why. Exactly what I want. It's exactly what I want. So if you look up close here. So you can see the rivets. The rivets are painted red over them. They're not white, but they're red. So it looks like they're painted. So you don't lose the detail of them at all. No, it's the same exact red that I've been using. Um, you don't lose the detail of the rivets at all. They come through three-dimensional, which is good. All right, so I know I had a um, save that. So I know I have a little spot here that I have to. Uh, 
right here. So what I do here is I go into this guy here and I take the eraser tool. Oh, no, that's not the tool. I want the where is it? The eraser tool. And then I just just clean away the place that I want to come through the stripe. Like that. And then I go back to this guy, select this, bring the opacity back to 100%, and it looks fine. There it is. Yeah, I've done this a lot of times, so I, you know, basically the key is, you know, I want to make sure I get those rivets in the detail. You will you will see them when you go up close in, in uh, X-Plane. You look at them, you're going to see them.
No, I'm not going to outline it with a black stripe. Nope. Because the other because the other stripes are not outlined, so I'm not going to do that. I mean, I could do it. I just would, you know, be another step. And I don't think it's necessary. But I guess we'll see. We'll leave it to... Uh, the artistic eye... We'll have to uh, clear all that out there. That's going to be kind of odd because it's got the gold background to it. Mm. Might not be able to do that one. One thing about this is you're kind of like just taking a chance that it's going to all look good because you really can't see it until you're done. I mean, you can go back and modify some of these spots. Doing a single click and using the curve of the pen tool would have been easier than single dots all the way down. Well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I guess we could do it that way. We could do... The problem is you have to find where the curve is apex, so it would be like there. But see, that's not right. Right, so this one probably wouldn't be just about right. It's I don't think you can really do it that way. You know, it's uh, I don't think that's gonna work. So it's, rather than debate it with you guys, I'm just gonna do it my way.
This is going to be a tricky part here, but we'll we'll deal with it. Oh, shit. Oh. I just deleted the whole damn thing. Did I really do that? I just do that? Did I really just do that? No. But I gotta redo this now because... Ah, oh, shit. Damn it! Oh, no, good. Phew. All right. No, you know how mice gets broke get broken is when I'm playing poker and my cal my odd calculations are perfect and the guy has like a three percent chance of shit, come on. Hitting a card on the river and he does. That's when my that's when mice get broken. Broken many a mice playing poker. Hey, Megaphone, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. It was I'm not finished with it yet. I got about 300 miles uh, of the 1500, so, but it was nice flying over some of the glaciers and stuff. I don't have ortho up there, but still the, um, the X-Plane scenery looked pretty cool. I love poker, Robo. Hold them. Texas Hold'em, but I've played other stuff like Raz and Seven Card and Omaha. Spent a lot of time studying the game.
Oh, come on, man. Why do they keep doing that? All right, let me get over here. Yeah, um... Raz was great because no one understood how to play it, really. A lot of people didn't understand how to play it properly. I still play online. I live in New Jersey, so... You guys probably figured that out already, but New Jersey has legalized online poker. So I do. St I still play it online. In fact, uh, not last year. I just didn't have the time. But in 2016, I think I played like 900 tournaments online, something like that. I did really well, actually. A challenger skin, yeah. I mean, if I I don't own the challenger, I was thinking about buying the challenger, actually. Um, the one on the org, but um, I have to learn how to use the um, FMC. It's one thing I haven't learned how to do yet. Well, a lot of things. One of the things I haven't learned how to do yet was use the FMC. Because it's it's a cool it's a great plane in um, F's economy. Yeah, I just have to spend time figuring it out. But yeah, I, I I'm sure it's easy. I just you know, I'm like used to burning through the 5:30 and using that to program my uh, my flight plans. You know, let me ask you this, Megaphone. So if I um, create a flight plan on Skyvector and I can download it in like FPL format, can I upload a flight plan into the FMC? Or do I, you have to enter it in? That was one question I had. Yeah, I think I think in twenty. I don't know if I finished that thought or not. In twenty sixteen, I think it was twenty sixteen. Maybe it was twenty fifteen. I think it was twenty sixteen. I think I played. It was close to a thousand tournaments. I know that. It did really well. All hold them. All uh, no limit hold them. And then also, I'm more of a tournament player than a cash player, but I do play some cash I'd rather play cash live so I could see people tournaments basically just mathematics and ICM so it's a little different you don't get much uh, inf more information live than you Ugh. You need to make it FMS or something similar. I would import from Skyvector into Little Nav Maps free program. You can export. Well, yeah, okay. So I have a I have a thing called FPL to FMS converter. So once I convert it convert it to an SMS FMS format, can I import it into the FMC on the Challenger? That's my question. Uh, haven't played since the okay, I used to grind 8 to 12 tables on Poker Stars. Yeah, I played, a, me too, when, when it was, you know, the National, you had so many people on there, that was awesome. But I, I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't that great of a player back then, and, in, in, um, before the, uh, Black Friday. 
once New Jersey got uh, passed the legislation to have online poker, I spent a lot of time, um, bet, you know, improving my game and learning the mathematics of it, especially ICM and all that. And uh, that's when I got better. And it's a smaller pool of people, so the prizes aren't big enough, but aren't as big as, you know, the old poker stars was, but still pretty lucrative. I did pretty well. But it's a grind, man. I, th I was playing, you know, five, six, eight tournaments a day, something like that. What happened here? Did I lose this whole thing? What the f Oh, shit. Let me see if I can go back here in time. I don't know what the hell I did here. Okay, good. There we go. So I don't lose this whole thing, but I got all this to do. So something fucking happened there. Save. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're going to have to get... That will work fine. Okay, cool. So... All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into that. It's, uh, I'm going to... It's probably going to be my next plane. That Challenger. We'll see. All right, what's going on here now? All right, that's what we got to do. There we go. Still learning this program. You know, I cheaped out. I didn't want to spend the money, the ten dollars a month on uh, Photoshop. I mean, that's a hundred and twenty bucks a year for something that you know. I don't use that often. So, I think I paid $39 for this. And it's good enough. It works, you know, but it doesn't have the same functions as um, Photoshop. So, again, if you're just joining later, I appreciate you checking the stream out. Put on your... Uh, own music. I can't really uh, play any music here because of the copyright issues. Because I like to play rock and roll, and that stuff's all copywritten. And Twitch puts the hammer down on it, and bans the uh, mutes, mutes it, so you can't hear anything. Uh, let's see. You're gonna buy the challenger with your super one? Yeah. Yeah, you remembered that. Yeah. I got seven and a half. Turns out I didn't need the seven and a half. But uh, that was a great game, man. Oh my god, what a probably the best Super Bowl I've ever seen. I mean, last year was good too, but it was because it was overtime. But the rest, of the, you know, the first part of the game wasn't that great. But this whole game was fantastic. All right, Megaphone, take care of that doggy. Yeah, I'm not a gloater, though. But, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it 
it was nice to have those extra points, but like I said, I didn't need them. You know, it was, I feel great for Nick Foles, man, because that guy, he's going to quit. Backup quarterback gets a shot because the guy goes, his, uh, his, uh, you know, the, what's his name goes down, once goes down. And then actually takes the team to win the big game. That's, it really, it's really something that is a, like a Hollywood story. You know? I say to my wife, this could definitely be a movie. Almost there if I don't fuck it up again. It is tedious, dude. Animac, anima, ana, animox, animox. Thanks for joining the stream, man. I appreciate it. I am doing a livery of the PC-12. And I'm using the existing livery, so I'm painting this stripe over red. And to do that, I have to highlight a shape around it I mean there's different ways I could do it but if I want to do it neat and clean I gotta do it this way and it is tedious All right, that's that. Save. Phil. Okay. All right, let me see what this looks like before I go back and do the touch-ups. Cheers. Yeah, so we have um, Enamox. We have a um, FS Economy um, group called VR Aviation. About forty pilots in there, and I've done a livery for the two hundred eight so far with VR Aviation, and um, we're doing now. I'm doing now. Now I'm doing one for the PC twelve as Robo points out. And these are, you know, I put my put them all up on the org. That looks pretty damn good. Right? Painstaking, but looks good. What do you think? I think it's going to look sick.
All right, let me go back here. Touch this guy up. Go over to here. Uh, make the opacity so I can see. So we've got a couple places to deal with. There. I'm not sure about that spot, but this spot definitely I can do the red. Appreciate you guys hanging out in the stream. If you uh, if you have not subscribed to Bambino Games or or not subscribed, if you have not followed Bambino Games, please consider doing that. Just hit that follow button above there, and also you can. Um, hit the notification button and this way you will get notifications when I'm streaming ah uh, this is gonna uh, hmm Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sim Pilot, how you doing? Yeah, if you get to, if you subscribe, you get to see the uh, SR twenty go zoom. That's fine. See, this is going to be tricky here because it's got the beige background. See what it looks like. It probably looks shitty. Yeah, no, I can't do it. Uh... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just forget about it. No one will ever know, except us watching the stream. Never know. But we got that arrow, which looks cool. Alright, what's next? Text tool and arrow shit. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I could do that. We'll see. If I get ambitious, I might do that. We'll see. We'll see. Um, mm, 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 mm. where's the other? I could do that, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We'll see. Oh, there it is. I got to do that. Uh, which side am I doing here? That side. So right there. That's going to be tricky. That piece is going to be tricky. But let's get that done. Right there. That piece. Now this one I might be able to do with less. Uh, we'll see. ba da ba da ba da I'm listening to the Foo Fighters. You guys can't hear it.
Yeah, Cosby, this might be the way to do it. I could probably do this. We'll see if I can do it on the longer ones, but this is definitely working here. Squawking 1200, you finally got an Oculus Rift. Squawking 1200 is another streamer. And you say you'll never go back to 2D. Welcome to the club, my friend. Welcome to the club. We don't go back to 2D once we. fly in 3D. Alright, let's see. Let's go. Bup, 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 bup. Well, congratulations. Welcome to the VR club, dude. Select. I should select by color range. I'm not using I'm not using um Photoshop, dude, just so you know. I'll see if we can do that in this version, but I don't think I can do that. I'm not using Photoshop. I'm using Affinity. But I'll try the suggestion. We'll see if I can make that work. Listen, I'm learning. I'm I'm like a hack. I you know when it comes to delivery painting, I'm just kind of like a hack. So, oh, I did the wrong side. Let's just see how it looks. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Gimp has it. Oh, I hate Gimp. Oof. It's my least favorite part of making 3D stuff. Yeah. Let me see here. Well, I should be able to take this guy. Duplicate him. Bring him over here. Flip him. That's even easier. And I should be able to do that with the other one too. See, that was the trick that you guys didn't expect. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I meant to just tweak it a little bit like that. This is the this is the this is the worst part right here. Waiting for this stupid thing to. I mean, how does it take so long to load up a livery? Yeah. So Sim Pilot, I didn't paint all this livery. I used one that was uh, a stock one, and I'm just painting to customize it for uh, VR aviation. So I can't take total credit for this. Can't take total credit for it.
I think that looks pretty damn good, though, if you ask me. Coming together, boys. Coming together. So, coming together. All right, cool. Let's see if we can do the. Uh, now, what I got to remember is. Boom, 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 boom. See if I can duplicate this guy. Oh, it's got a different doohickey. Hmm. Flip this one voidically. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's perfect. Almost perfect. It's got a. That's sweet, dude. That is sweet. Even the little cutout lines up. Nice. Now, it would be hot shit if this one worked. I'll have to fill in that red part. Never know. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Yup. 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 Yep, yep. Let's just check it out. Yeah, exactly. Saving and reloading is especially I don't I don't mind the the graphics program doing it, but it's 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 plane maker. No, I, I keep ASW on auto. I keep ASW on auto. And what what kind of GPU do you have, uh, squawking? All right, that side looks good. And that side looks a little fucked up. Looks a little fucked up right there. Let's just, let's see if that's something I can. Uh, okay, so I would say, what, what, what are you using for super sampling? Just curious. I have a 1080 Ti and I basically super sample it too. The next plane. We're just going to line up that stripe and we will be good to go, baby. Yeah, I would say you could probably get away with, and for X plane, you could probably get away with 1.8, 1.9 super sampling. And that'll clear things up immensely, because that's basically 100, 180 percent 
um, granularity on your pixel um, density. And then here's the other thing. Fly with Lua does not, in my opinion, does not work well with X-Plane VR. So if, you gotta, if you're using Fly with Lua, you got to turn it off, unfortunately. Once I turned the Fly with Lua off, everything started working really, really well. All right, so I got to angle the bottom one looks... All right, let me see here. Um, does SS super sampling fix auto? No, no, not really. Um, you, but with, you could probably get away cause you're not using a 2d monitor. You could probably get away with either no auto, um, anti-aliasing or like the first se section, which selection, which is like FXAA. So I have a 6700 and a 1080 Ti. So my settings generally are visual is on high. Textures are medium, and world uh, objects are on um, low, usually medium on stock planes, low on uh, third-party planes. I think I probably already did that again, but we'll just... All right, Simpilot, take care, man. Good seeing you. I appreciate it. Glad your flight went well today. Oh, let's check that out. That's a robo's t <laughs> The happy faces, really? <laughs> I'm surprised that... Um... There we go. We got that right. Beautiful. Nice and lined up, baby. I'm surprised that they don't have... Um... Textures create, uh, you know, basically um, Lego things created for. Uh... I think that looks pretty damn good. What do you? I mean, it was a little bit of black highlighting, but maybe that looks good. All right, so I got to go in here now, and uh, let's see. That's pretty close to what I've been finding. Sorry for the typos. I'm using my Kindle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get you. I get you. That's a good idea. Uh, okay, so that side's good. Now I got to go and fix this guy. Let me go over here. So we're going to have to do two things here in the cleanup. We're going to have to make this red. And we're going to have to... Uh, let's do this. Go over here. And we'll get rid of the...
Ah, crap. Simpilot, you're benefiting from hundreds of hours of agony trying to set up Oculus Rift with X-Plane VR. From many people. Oops, crap. I'm sure it's 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 uh Yeah, I gotcha. I just remember seeing like all of the um paintbrush tool. Well that's a little too big. Let's go with four. I could probably just do a vector fill in there, but... Just do it this way. Alright, that's good. Yeah, it, it can be a little maddening to get it right, but like I said, one, and, like, and I agree with you, once you have it, uh, once you dial it in, it's pretty awesome. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, Robo. I appreciate it. Robo's working on a um, custom scenery for an FBO that VR Aviation bought, um, N47, which is Pottstown, PA, so looking forward to checking that out. All right, let's see if we got, uh, let's see, load this guy up here. I'm sure they look great, dude. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it when you get it done. And again, I appreciate you putting that together. Symmetry paint on planes is overrated, yeah. All right, good. The uh, the emergency red came through very nicely. Ah, that looks damn good. 
Still not sure if I like that where that VR aviation is. I'm not quite sure I like that or not. Yeah, not quite sure. But I like everything else so far. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. That was a, it's a really tight runway landing that challenger there. I mean, would you have to like throw throw on the um the reverse thruster? I guess it has a reverse thruster on it, right? Oh, it looks good, man. All right, cool. Let's do the tail. Reverses were on before. Wheels were on the ground, yeah. Pretty much hit the wheels on the numbers and stop, yeah. Here, let me pull that up again. Where the hell, give me that link again. I want us to look at that again. Oh, that's not it. Where the hell is it? Looks awesome. I can see the red ladder back there. That's cool. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. God damn it.
Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, 10K. It's, it's a lot of people. Still kind of amazes me. It took a long time. Think the windows and the shape of the future as a logo is in the right spot. You do? Okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sold on it yet. Not 100% sold on it yet. But we'll we'll see. Now I'm going to take a little piece of white and just uh, get rid of that thing. The Swiss Army doodad. This would be interesting. Another one with a gold thing on there somewhere. There it is. Uh, you saw the Austin's of 3D adopted early and became, yeah, well, I don't know about that. I just decided early on that, you know, I just basically found it early on and, you know, realized that there was no nothing better than flying in th virtual reality and actually the first flight sim I ever um, flew in VR was um, what do you call it uh, aerosphere no not aerosphere aerofly FS2 that was the first one Is that right? Oh, it's not gonna work. Oh, uh, look, this guy didn't, whoever did this did not do the same on one side as the other. Look at that, it's different. It's different. Unless I got it wrong here, but I don't think I do. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, it's different. All right, get rid of that. All right. Speaking of poker, my son is playing poker right now. He just sent me a picture of a huge stack of chips. He's playing live. He's a really good player. He's a uh, cash player, hold'em player. But he's like, he's a math wizard. And he has all the probabilities down. And very good at um, eliminating um, possibilities and basically not guessing, but calculating what people's hands might be. Like really good at it, like phenomenally good at it. He crushes me in cash. He's real. He's he's really good. But I crush him in tournaments. Yeah, exactly, the ranges. That's what he's really, really super good at. Like, it's like st stunning sometimes how, you know, how close he can get. And you know, that's how Daniel Negreanu does it. You know, he and Phil Hellmuth, those guys, when they, you know, guess what the other guys, you know, basically they're seemingly guessing what the other person has. It's all calculation, and those guys have played so many hands of poker that not not I'm not putting down what they do what they do is amazing okay these guys are amazing but it's all about understanding the ranges based upon the board and all that Tried to FS Con last year. Just had to wait for, for native and some. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I got you. So you tried to VR? Yes. I thought you were talking about poker. Yeah, ranging is so critical in poker. So critical. <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah. The poker face is underrated. That's kind of like a. It's not a myth, but you know. There are people do have tells. You know. I agree with you, Robo. I agree with you. It's the fish that are tougher to range. Because they could be playing anything, you know. 7-5 off suit, 7-3 off suit. Who knows, you know. Sometimes they're just, they're, you know, they're playing a hand on a hunch. You know. All right, let's take a look at that. Well, that tail looks nice. Where's that other spot that I... It's getting there, boys. Got a friend who will every, see every flop. <laughs> That's sick. That's, he's just going to play those guys differently, you know. I don't understand where that one piece is. Uh, 
Oh, I guess it's the tail. Let me see here. Oh, it's the rudder. Okay, so there's the tail, there's the rudder. Hmm. That's a rudder, I guess. Right? Looking good, boys. Yeah, you can't go by what you see on TV, like World Series of Poker and all that. I do like watching the big cash games, though, like the Sunday Night Poker, whatever it's called, Late Night Poker. $100,000 cash games. It's interesting to watch. All right, so we got the stripe pretty much done. I mean, simple is better. I'm not sure. What I was thinking about doing is, like, making these tips red. Like that edge there and these tips make those red. And then this edge up here make that red. Might be kind of cool. I'll tell you what I'll do is let me do the tail edge first. We'll see what that looks like. But I don't know, man. I'm liking that red stripe. What do you think? Yeah, I like the red. I'm, I'm going to try the red edge here on this this guy here. See what it might look like. Because that will be a little simpler to do. So where's the... That's these guys here. These should be really easy to do. Uh, boom. Let's get it right on the precision. That's pretty damn good. Oh, that's not what I, Damn it! I didn't want to do that. That's the wing. Well, I guess I could leave that and see what it looks like. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I want to make the ice boot red. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I know it's supposed to be black. How did I cost you? How did I co cost you a lot of money, dude? I know, Robo. Has there ever been a red ice boot? Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, welcome to the world of VR. Well, let me ask you a question, Jay. What do you see? That looks cool. That looks damn. That looks that looks cool. I know, but it looks so good. It looks so good. All right, someone Google and see if there's ever been a red ice boot. So, Jay, um, um, let me ask you a question. So, you sold your SciTech gear, and you upgraded to VR. What do you think? What do you think?
All right, listen. I think that looks badass like that. The way it comes out of the black there like that, and if it went all the way out to the tip, I think that would look badass. So what I'm oh, let's see if, let's see if we got a. Uh, <laughs> there's a red ice boot. <laughs> very good, Mega. Very good. But let's see here. Let's um. Red, airplane, ice boot. Yeah, I guess it's got to be black. Come on, no one ever made him out of red, ever? Because you know what's going to happen. If I, make the, if I make that leading edge red, and I can't prove that someone else had an ice boot that was red, Look, there's the ice boots. There's a red ice boot. Another red ice boot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is red rubber. I'm liking it so far without... Uh... Okay, so you bought a Windows Mixed Reality. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Well, I'm glad you're liking it. That's awesome. I mean, no one ever made an ice boot that was red for a plane? Yeah, I know, but you know what's, what's going to happen is there'll be some pain in the ass <coughs> robo <coughs> that'll say, oh, there's no red ice boots. This is This livery is invalid. And I can't put up with that. You know, aviation people are like very exact, right? So I, if I can't find, <laughs> no, you're not a bait of the ass. You're right. If I can't find a defendable red ice boot, uh, these are all black. There's a silver one. Oh no. Ice protection. Well, if there was one, it would have come up sick. So that means I got to leave it black. All right. So let's think about this. So what I could do is, this is the ice boot, okay? Answer me this. Riddle me this. So that's got to be black. But what about this? Is this an ice boot here? Probably not, right? So could I go red from here up? <laughs> right, well, what about this leading edge right here? Is this fair game? All right, I'll just do the tips. I'll just do the tips. Damn! It looks so good. All right, we'll just do the tips. Delete. The ice boot stops where the red stopped. Okay, so that means um, well, let me think about this. So it would look kind of funky. If you had red here and black there, so that I'm nix that. I'm just gonna do the tips. Just gonna do the tips. All right, where's the tips? These are the tips. Oops.
Got to remember that little PC12 there. That's all. That's the inside of the tip. Yeah, I think they'll do that too. I think they'll. I'll, I think they'll have full support of uh, of that. All right, this is going to be tricky because this can't be. Oh, crap. All right, let's do this. Well, actually, this should be pretty easy because I can I can outline it like this. I don't have to be exact. Just these lines have to be right. So I can go. Special red paint for icing components. <laughs> yes. It's a special red rubber that's more resilient than the black rubber. Don't you know that? Did I export? I don't forget. I'll just do it again. Understand it and pay attention. Yes, virtual skill. Well, welcome to the world of VR, Jay. It's great. <laughs> oh, you guys are sick. looks pretty damn snazzy. Right? I think it looks pretty snazzy. All right, Squawking, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out Squawking's stream. He's a streamer, too. Usually streams during the day. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you'll see. Don't worry. I'll take, I'll take care of that. I totally agree. I'll make sure that logo's there. Um, but I like that. I like the way that looks. It, uh, is that a light there? I guess that's a light, right? All right, we're good. 
We're good there. All right, let me get back to this guy. Actually, let me show you how I do that, Mega. So what I'm going to do is go over to my paint area. This is kind of cool thing about this, and I do make it opaque like that so I can see it, and then I take the eraser. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm actually going to go to the three here. Or I could just do, put my own PC-12 logo on there. Yeah, I think I might do that. Try that. Let me go back to... Uh... Oops. All right. Uh, go back to here. And uh, what I want to do is do text. Find the right find the right font. Kind of a wider font, right? Well, that looks cool, a little army dude there. <laughs> that would look pretty cool. Uh, no, we're going to do that, though. All right, let me get something a little wider. Impact, no. Got to be kind of stretched out. Yeah, that's this one here, um, Counter-Strike. But the, the problem is... The, the hyphen is that little army dude. We'll figure something out. Let me just look and see what we got here. I know that's not wide enough, but The tip's going to be red. So probably want to go with a black logo, right? I think impact's going to be my best bet.
let's go with that. And we're going to go with the white, I think. We want black. I think we want black. There's no reason why we can't use our own font, right? Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, I could even make it a little bigger. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We'll go to 24. Okay, cool. Duplicate that. Well, we got to we got to paint the other side first, so we'll remember to do that. Uh, yeah, we'll remember to do that. All right, so that's a save. We got that save. Let's go to make this. I should be able to hopefully duplicate that. Damn it. Oh, it's completely different. All right, let's do a different one. Oh no, I got to I know what I got to do. I got to flip it. Right? I should right? I got to flip it vertically. No, it's not going to work. That's weird. All right, we'll just do a different one. Uh, you, you can if you're sitting in the back of the plane.
guess the it leads to the ultimate important question can you lower the shade and tables in the back of the plane in VR haven't tried it yet don't know I don't know the answer to that question uh, probably not um, I, don't, I shouldn't say that, probably not, because the one thing I did find out is you can control the yoke. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, we got them on both sides. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, pulling down shades is also more important than fixing a clicking issue with the freaking GPS. Why is this one here? There's four of them. I only got three of them. Is that just an illusion? I'm going to assume it's just an illusion. Yeah, it's not a feature in my book. It drives me crazy. All right, that's looking good. Let's check it out, baby.
When painting Karen out of stuff, I have trouble getting the line to line up with transitions from different sections of fuselage. Is there a trick to this? It's not a trick, it's just diligence. <laughs> you kind of like do trial and error. You know, you got to keep moving each piece like one or two pixels to make sure it gets lined up. Um, sometimes it's luck, to tell you the truth. But I'll show you in a second here what I mean. Let me just load this, get this plane loaded here, and then we'll. I'll show you what I mean, uh, Ryan. So if I go back to this guy here, you can see this is a transition piece, right? From this uh, tail section to here. So for me, it was easy because um, underneath here is the, is the old one, right? You see underneath there, let me just get rid of this. There's the old one, which was gold. So I just basically traced over it with the pen tool and filled it in. And then the same thing with this, right? Now, lining these up, when they first came out, they were a little bit off. So I had to just like basically move one up a little bit or move one down a little bit just to make sure they get lined up. So that's it's like a trial and error thing, basically. All right, PC-12, baby. There's your wing tips. Now, uh, I think we leave the radar antenna black. Maybe we give it a red tip. Tit, not tit, tip, tit. We could give it a red tit. <laughs> Might look kind of cool. Um, but those tips look nice, man. Um, yeah, it's just trial and error. It took me, you know, when I, I did this, um, one on the, the 1080, not the 1080, 1080 Ti, the 1900D I did. Let me show you this livery that I did on that. Um, hold on a second here. Um, B1900D. Uh, here it is. I did this livery. Um, this is a Santa. This one took me a long time to do. So you can see this section where it has the Santa Claus and the reindeer, right? Let's see if I can get a close up. So basically, like right about here was the was the section of the tail, right? So what I had to do was I had to split the image, the graphic, in two using a cut tool. Okay, and you can do, there's, there's, um, I don't know what graphics program you're using, but there's videos on YouTube about how to use the cut tool. So I had to cut it in line so that it was lined up with the seam between the two pieces of the fuselage. And then I had to slowly but surely, you know, tweak it in so that it was lined up. It was, it took me... Once once I got the one side done, the other side was easy, but the one side took me at least an hour and a half to get it right. It was took a long time. But it came out pretty cool, I think. And these snowflakes, man, they took me forever, too. And this tail was another thing, because this is two sections, so I had the wreath. I had to cut the wreath right, around that, right along that section where the tail, rudder meets the tail, and... Um, how to piece it together, make sure it was angled properly, and using the cut tool to make sure that it was correct. So that was a pain in the ass too. But th that's a, that's an example of where you got to use that. Hope that's helpful. See a doctor if you have a red tit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> KJL one one one. How you doing, man? Thanks for. Uh, Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Another, another uh, livery painter. A great livery painter, actually. Way better than me. Um, yeah.
Yeah, it looks good, especially the feasibility and color choice of the D. <laughs> yeah. Robo wouldn't let me paint the boot red. It would wouldn't it wouldn't it look cool if this plane had red boots on on the uh leading edges. It would look so cool, but I know I'd get like dissed by every um aviation enthusiast. Now, here's what I'm thinking too. I don't know what these are called. What are these called down here? The things that um are uh are they like trusses or something that control the um the, the, the flaps. I was thinking about painting those red. That looks pretty badass, man. So, KJO, in your professional opinion, what do you think of where the logo was placed, the VR Aviation logo was placed? Do you think that looks cool? Yeah, the flap mechanisms, right, exactly. I was thinking about painting those, I don't know what they're called, but I was thinking about painting those red. Might be kind of cool. If you give it a red tip, it will look like a red tit. It will look like a red tit. It'll look like a nipple. <laughs> It'll look like a nipple. Strakes. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. They're covered. But I was thinking again, it might look cool if the not all of them, just the two on the on the edge of the wing were red. I mean, you don't see them too often anyway, but it might look kind of cool. Nah, leave them black. We're gonna leave them black. All right, so um. I think we're getting there. I got to put the VR somewhere. Uh... <laughs> you and your plaid deer. You want to put your plaid deer on everything. No, I know what I'm going to do though. So I'm going to do um What the hell is the prop? There's the prop. Prop gets a red tip. A red tit for the prop. that is but I better better paint it red Weird thing is, single vertex from the prop that didn't get unwrapped properly. Oh, that weird thing. Oh, okay.
Well, I figure I better paint it, paint it, uh, better paint it uh, red. Yeah, red tip looks awesome, dude. Yeah, red tip, red tip, baby, red tips. Red tips, not red tits. All right, uh, and you'll be able to see that from the uh, cockpit, too, which would be cool. Tiny red, tiny red tits, tips. <laughs> All right, um, what about the... Um, elevator, the tail in the elevator there. Um, and we could paint this little doodad red. This guy here. Just less is more, you know, just little things here and there. Uh, where's the black? Let me just look here. It's black on the bottom, so I gotta I gotta respect the black. Um yeah, but the yes it would be. You mean across the elevator? Yes, but the problem is you wouldn't be able to you're not gonna be able to see it. I'm not gonna be able to see it. I'm thinking just a little VR right here, so I don't have to cut it up and deal with the tail. Just a little VR right there. That's all. Just right there. But I want this real this thing to be red. Let me just I just want to see what that looks like. So that's this piece here. Sands this black, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. But that's not oops crap. Already Two hour, two and a half hours into this painting. It takes a long time. I tell you, I'm just going to do a quick blotchy one just to see if it looks cool. I'm not going to go into the due diligence of doing all these black parts here. I just want to see in concept if it'll look good. Oh, while we're waiting here, let me show you what I'm working up. I'm working up a, um, where the hell is it? We're going to put an ad in the next, uh, FSE, uh, newsletter, whatever it's called. Something like this. I know this is a little cluttered. It's just a, I'm not done with it yet, but we're gonna cost us ten thousand virtual dollars to have our group advertising that thing. We're gonna do it, all right? So maybe we'll have a couple like this and the PC12 on here to show some of our livery, and uh, hopefully it'll get us more uh, more um, pilots. So anyway, it's just something I'm working on. All right, let's check out. Uh, this guy. Uh, what do you think? I I I, I kind of like that little redness up there. It allows you not to put reds on the tips of the elevator, but bring some red up to the top of the plane. I kind of like that. In fact, I actually like the way that it's...
gets the whole thing in. I like it. I do like it. It's too red, huh? Yeah, maybe you're right. But I feel like we need something on the elevator. Sweeping lines kind of like on the side on the button and top of the elevator would look a little bit better. Yeah, I agree it should be white. I agree with that. Like I said, it was just a test. I'm not sure you have enough room there to really put any any like a like a sweeping line though. I'm not sure if you have room for that. It's a little too crowded up there. <laughs> no, I'm not putting flames on it, dude. I'm not putting flames on it. But it's better white. I agree. I mean, should I red tip the elevators? No, I think I think little is more. I think we're good there. I think we're all good there. Uh, yeah, like the top of them need a red, right? So. I mean, I could just do really simple. Where's the elevator? Is this the elevator? That's the elevator. These two. The top of the elevator. It's funny how they're both exactly the same. So what I could do is just do... try something here.
What about red racing stripes on either side of the that missile-shaped thing? Nah. That thing's too small. Hey, Captain Carter 04. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. What's our vector, Victor? That's it. We just got to do one more thing. This little knot, these little notches right there. Aki, how you doing, man? What kind of beer? It's called Yingling's Light Lager. In fact, I'm going to grab another one. I'll be right back. This one is black and tan, so that's like a, that's basically a, uh, a porter and a uh, lager mixed, which is really, really good. Oh, I didn't have my mic on. This is black and tan. This is Yingling's black and tan. It's a porter and a lager mixed, which is really good. Ming Ling Light, <laughs> no, no, no. Yingling, Yingling, not Mingling. <laughs> Yingling. It's a Pennsylvania beer. All right. Well, that's the red tip. That I think that gives us enough uh, definition of the uh, tail there. This is a little bit of red. It's a Pennsylvania beer. You can look it up. It's um, here. I'll show you. You see that? Let me see. Make sure it's in the camera here. Yingling's Black and Tan. Y 
U-E-N-G-L-I-N-G. Yinglings. It's a Pennsylvania beer. It's really good. Actually, it's it's it's, Ville, it's brewed in Pottsville, PA. Is that where that livery is? That, uh... Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So let's go to FS Economy. Let's go to our groups. I mean, our FBOs. Pottstown. Okay. This is Pottsville, PA. I don't know how close Pottsville is to Pottstown, but anyway, I thought we had a, I thought we had a FBO in Pottsville, but it's no, it's Pottstown. Anyway. Um, this is just about the finishing touches except the logo on the back there, but that looks pretty damn cool. I'd like to finish this tonight. Got to get rid of that tail number. Got to get rid of that little, uh, Swiss army knife logo. So how are we going to do that? We're going to, I got a trick on how to do that. So what we can do is go find the, uh, where the hell is it? Um, go find the stock guys. Is that on the, let me just open this guy up and see what it looks like. Oh shit, are you kidding me? It doesn't have a clean white one? That sucks, because what I was going to do is cut out a little section there and just paste it over there. Well, that ain't going to work. All right. All right, let me go back here. How about the tail section? That's open. Yeah, that I can do. So what I can do is just take this whole guy right here. Uh, just take this whole white tail section here. Now, I've never done it in this this program before so hopefully I can I need a select tool that's not it I need to go here There's a lot of pot stuff in PA. That's not what I want to do. Hold on. I want to be precise about this. Don't screw it up. All right. Let's do a copy. Over here. Zoom in. Do a paste. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? Okay. Select this. Copy it. Oh, because this is locked. 
Yeah, that's why. Copy it. Go to here. Paste it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. In the right spot and everything, man. That's pretty cool. Nice job. Oh, I got this little black tip there, though. I gotta keep that. Okay, so we gotta change this up a little bit. Um, so what I want is I want just this section here. I want to leave that black tip. So let me get rid of this. Just do this again. Oh, sorry, dude. Uh, well, that ain't going to work. Deselect it. So let's try this again. We're going to go from here. Let's do this again here, like this. Start right there. Well, actually, we don't have to really worry too much about it because. The software will take care of the problem. All right, go to there. Now let's see what happens here. Come on, baby, do it right. Do me right. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so now we could see what our, where we want our tail number. This reverse slant is a pain in the ass right here. Good that we kept that little black tip. Tip. T-I-P. There. Right, we're going to put our tail number there. And I'm going to pull the tail number. No. I'm going to pull the tail number from... Previous livery for this guy where did I put the tail number uh -huh. All right, let's see if we can I can close this guy
Hey, who who just subscribed to my channel? Did someone just subscribe to my channel? I'm not getting good alerts here. Hold on, let me check my shit here. I guess not. All right, let me make sure I got this right here. All right, we got to give this a new tail number. It's going to be 328, but we're going to do it PC. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, we're almost done here, I think. At least enough to sleep on, and then maybe I'll make a few changes. Tomorrow we shall see. Oh. Not wild about the placement of that. It's got to be a little smaller. It's got to be a little smaller. deal with that tail too.
think I just have to tilt that down a little bit. All right, I like the tail number there. Just got to make sure it's placed right. Now we got to get rid of that little, those little uh, Swiss Army knife logos. That's over here. Now, how do I do this here? Let me see. I gotta do this, make it so it doesn't botch it. One if there's another. Let me see if I can find another. It's not going to be that one. Not going to be that one. That's not going to do it. That's got the logo. Everything's got this stupid Swiss logo on it. Not stupid. I shouldn't say stupid. But... Yeah, that one's got it too. That, but let's... It's got it too, see? Maybe it's got a different place. Let's just see. That's there. Oh, it's a different place. It's not going to work because the P is there. Uh, I mean, let me try it. Almost there, baby. All right, good. All right, let's get this right here. So we want to go right underneath this P. Oops. Beautiful. Nice. All right, now we got this one. Where's the other guy? This guy here. Uh, hopefully we'll get lucky with that one. Uh, 
Uh, not going to get as lucky there. Oh, shit. Damn it. What if I do this? What if I just take... Oh, crap. What if I just take a little section here like this? Copy it. Place it. Paste it over there. Ah, uh, you can see the outlines. This looks perfect. I could take this I could put it over here see if I can find a place for this to blend in no? oh well, that looks pretty damn good I could live with that. Cool. Alright, so we're going to lock these two guys. Make those part of the establishment. Alright, we got rid of that. this logo there. Alright, I'm going to put this uh, there. Doesn't have to be massive. Never noticed this before, but next plane, the default propane tank says propane and propane accessory. Oh. Huh. Well, it should have like a propane label on it, right? I would guess. Oh. Oh, King of the Hill. Oh, okay. I never watched King of the Hill. I didn't. So I didn't. I totally didn't get that. 
All right, let me see what we got here. So, what did I just do? Oh, the VR. All right, it's backwards. That's par for the course, and it can move towards the back more. So let's. Uh, uh, we're gonna go back there. Let's make sure it's. Is it high? Too high? Yeah, it's a little too high. So we'll lower it down a little bit. Uh, lowering is it this way, right? Because that's the top. We're going to flip this like that with the R like right there. Man, Megaphone, look at this. Megaphone with that charger. He has these massive runs. Look at this. He made 10 grand in one run. That's that's awesome having that plane. Made 8 grand for himself. But $10,000, that's a nice chunk for the group, man. Thanks, dude. And I saw another one that you had like that. It was awesome. All right. Um. Oh, that's the wrong way. I did it the wrong way. It'll be towards the tail, so it's going to be back this way, like this. Let's see who else we had uh, bringing some nice change for the group. So, uh, Milo Snack, Sax, nice Quasmi, very nice. M9 Air, 10 grand, very nice. Well, that's a total, but, you know, basically you get about half. 5,700, that's a nice one. He's flying the caravan. Quasmi with the piece, flying that PC-12 around. M9 Air, Eras active, Flyboys active, Goldbeard. The Dirts, new guy. Uh, he's actually part of was part of Bambinos. Now he's uh, sorry of uh, John Flies. Now he's flying for us too. Uh, Fazacast seventy four is another new person. So got some nice action today. He's got the bank count well over a million, one point one million dollars now. So doing really good. Yeah, that's nice of him to do that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, I think that's well placed. Probably have to make sure the... Um, I don't want it too big. I go to... All right, so the right way to do this is to cut it. And to cut that image and put it put it right in the middle of the tail like that, make it bigger. That's the right way to do it. But I don't think I'm going to do that tonight. That's the right way to do it.
Okay, well, I think the only thing that's left to do on this plane is to get that tail logo right and to get the um, tail number right. And I'm not sure I like the outline. I think I might just do it in black. I might just do it in black. I don't think it looks good with the red outline there. But that VR is going to be bigger. It's going to be a lot bigger. So it's going to be like... All right, Robo, thanks for hanging out. I think I'm just about done anyway, so I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you for your suggestions. Appreciate that. Have a good evening, man. All right, let's take this one last look, and we will call it a night with only a few things left. See, that's going to be right. That'll be right, and I'll have to cut it. Let me see something here. So, where's the other piece? The other piece is here. No, this guy up here. That's going to be a pain in the ass. So, basically... Uh, oh, actually, it might not be too bad. Let me just see how this goes here. So, it's tailpiece. Flares. Let me just see. The big flare. Big flare towards the back. I might be able to do this without cutting it. Might be able to do it without cutting it, because this is... Oh no, I gotta cut it because of that. Yeah. Alright, that's for tomorrow. I'm not doing that tonight. Anyway, so here's what we got so far. Everything's pretty much done except the tail number and the tail logo. And then once we get those done, we'll be ready to roll it out. And that's going to be our VRE. Oh, what happened to the... I'm missing a logo there. Oh, that's not good. What happened? Oh, I see. All right, that should be good. Let me just we'll take one more look with the proper logo, and then we'll call it an evening. Come on, come on, 
Come on, plane come here, plane uh whatever it's called. Plane maker. Alright, so that looks looking badass. Alright, so all we have to do now is fix that logo. So so it's the full tail, and then we'll do a better job on the tail number, and then this plane is gonna be done. So I'm gonna do those in my own time. So we got the little PC twelve logos on the wings. I'm gonna do that on my own time and then we'll get this uh we'll get this up on the org and into the uh v VR aviation livery. So that's gonna do it for me tonight guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you find out when I uh, you'll get notifications when I put up new videos. And thanks to everyone who watched tonight on Twitch. I appreciate it. And uh, take care, guys. Have a great evening.